your share is locked and loaded. Are you ready? Let's go! All right. Ready? Aim! Fire! He didn't hurt himself. I'm sorry, Sue. Uh, I just wanted to play and I hit your favorite clock. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. Things happen. Besides, I have a great idea. Come with me. Whoa, Sammy! Hi, guys. Since my favorite clock broke today, we're going to make a new one. This time it's going to be wooden. It's safer that way. So I got it. I'm to blame. Please not again. Come on, Sammy. I'm not angry with you. You've probably guessed what style our clock will be. Truth to say, no. What are these drawings, anyway? Well, well, well. Oh, holy cannoli! Sammy, these are pictures from full-length anime cartoons by Hayao Miyazaki. Wow, Shu, can you tell me more? With pleasure. Today we're going to make a clock in the style of his animated film, My Neighbor Totoro. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna go read about it on the web. Guys, in the meantime, we'll begin our creative process. We'll have a starry sky on our new clock. To make future stars more visible, we're making our base using a dark-as-the-night sky paint. There. Did you know the song from this cartoon is so popular that they even listen to it in space? Wow, what a cool fact! <gasps> Speaking about space, let's draw chaotic dots like these. They'll imitate the stars. Okay. Phew, I hope there will be lots of them. Guys, did you know that there's an asteroid named after the main character of this film? Now let's add some magic into our starry sky. <laughs> Wait! Oh, I made it! Da -da 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 -da. Sammy, what happened? Oh, it's good that you didn't ruin anything. Don't panic, Sammy. Everything is under control. Our sky is almost ready! <laughs> Let's glue this piece. So I found something here. Is this yours? Oh, right. I'm going to need this piece exactly right now. It will shape the second layer of our craft. Let's paint it green. There. Don't rush. Do everything carefully and neatly. So I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why are we making a clock only for you? I want one! So what's the problem, Sammy? You have enough time to make a clock yourself, too. Huh. My clock will be a hundred times better. I'll just grab a couple of pieces. I need this. I'll take this, too. And uh, this to refuel. <laughs> Wait a minute, why do I need this? <sighs> and now let's add the remaining pieces. Voila! This part is made of several large puzzle pieces. Awesome, right? But this is still not the final result. We need three more pieces like these. First of all, we'll connect them to each other. Carefully glue them together this way. Then come these stumps. Shall we add color? Uh, uh, green? That oh, doesn't fit. <laughs> Red, too bright. <gasps> oh, white. <laughs> That's just what we need. First, glue the biggest piece right in the center. Then we'll take our stumps. Here we go. So, guys, our second layer is done! So, uh, I finished with my craft. <laughs> uh, do you need any of my help? Yes, Sammy. I'm going to need pieces for the third level. Uh-oh. Uh, Sue, uh, you mean these ones? Yes, thanks! By the way, how's your clock? Aren't you tired of making it yet? Um, 
my clock, it's okay. So what are you waiting for? Come on, show us! So you're impatient as usual, it's gonna be a surprise! Alright, Tammy. Guys, it's time to paint the pieces of the third level. First, we'll take some blue color and paint the leaves with it. There. So I came across this article. It says each year they're making more than one billion clocks all over the world. Can you imagine? Wow, Sue, this looks just wonderful! Oh, thank you, Sammy! principle of painting on the first stage. Shall we speed it up? Cool! Let's add some glare and shadows. This way our leaves will look more realistic and bright. Awesome! We're almost to the finish line! We just need to decorate the clock and attach the mechanism! So here's our main character! Right, let's paint him! There! Perfect! We'll carefully glue the tummy! And draw the eyes, of course! <laughs> So I decided to help you a little. Oh, Sammy, you never finish anything you start doing. Actually, I finished my watch. So it's time to add the main elements of our clock. Here comes our Totoro. Let's hide him in the bushes. This way. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like that too. <laughs> and there's no clock without numbers, right? We'll begin with one. That's awesome, Sue, but something's missing. Nothing's missing, Sammy. Uh, there, our new clock is ready. Oh, wait, can you only Sue, can I add one finishing touch? Ahem, <laughs> painted touch up like Huh, our character's changed colors. Well, that's even better. So guys, do you like our new clock? Shall we take a closer look at it? Guys, today we're gonna make something we haven't made before. Oh, I wanna see too. I'm the one who's gonna make this crap. Even Sammy doesn't know what it'll be. Do you want a little hint? Watch me. Ah, uh, check this out. Okay, I got it. We're gonna do some paper recycling today, right? Eh, wrong answer. Today we're moving to a paper tropical paradise. Really? With exotic animals and birds? Awesome! Yeah, and with colorful leaves. We'll make a huge three-dimensional panel. Wow, I'm so excited, Sue. I'm at your service. I'm flattered, my favorite crafter. Then help me make the rest of these big pink leaves. Easy peasy, I'll be right next to ya. And we'll start cutting the first leaf out. Guys, be careful when you do it at home. 
Be patient and don't rush, then your leaves will grow just beautifully. You worked so hard, Susan. Relax a bit, breathe. It's gonna be all right. Sammy, I just need to finish this leaf and cut out some pieces to make it more realistic. Ha! First one is done. But we need some more. You can go on, though. It's so refreshing. Nice tip. I'll go do these two. Thanks, you. Well, it seems like we lost Sammy for a while. <laughs> Guys, make these holes randomly, but not too many of them. And it'll look perfect. Ta-da! This one is mine and that one is Sammy's. Which one is better? Let's vote. <gasps> so we next up on the leaves. Our voting is failed. Guys, and you can just give us a thumbs up if you like them. Thanks for your support. Uh-uh. We'll make this and this one. Oh, and this looks very pretty too. Um, so what kind of a forest has so many different tree species, huh? We're making a fantasy forest, so let's leave some space for imagination. Here, some leaves will have creases. It gives them more volume. So this leaf is fine, but I think we should add something. I don't know what. Oh. Huh. Are you saying it's not good enough? Ha! Take that. I didn't mean that. Why be so dramatic? Check this out. Now it looks better. <laughs> you were right. You scared me to death. I even started to glue the leaves to the base. I didn't mean to, Sammy. I'm sorry. But you did great. Clear the way, Susan. Slime is coming. We're ready to inhabit our forest. Stay tuned. Are you ready, Mr. Slime? Aye, aye, Captain Sue. Who lives on the island with tropical trees? A panther hiding among the leaves! Who loves eating fruit and nuts every day? Our dear friend Monkey Banana Hooray! <laughs> Sammy, we're a great duo, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, and I think we just spoiled the animals we're making for our fantasy forest. Check these colors out. What animal are we gonna make first? Are you kidding me, Susan? A monkey, of course! Ah. Well, I think we need more colors. Much better. Now we can make our monkey. These black stripes are for its muzzle. Let's start with it. It still doesn't look like a monkey face, though. <laughs> Sorry about that, Sue. You're always in such a hurry, Sammy. Just wait a bit and you'll see the cute monkey's muzzle. Oh, I can't wait anymore. I better go and find adventures for myself, too. What do you think, guys? What adventures will he find? Well, I'm sure Sammy will share it with us anyway. Guys, we should cover the whole empty space using these strips. Overlap them and create a three-dimensional shape. Hey, now I can finally see it. Nice job, Susan. And you also kept yourself busy, Mr. Slime. Cute ears. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want them? I have another pair. Thanks, Tammy. They'll fit our monkey perfectly, but why did you make two pairs? <laughs> I'm preparing something for you. You have to wait, too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I might know what it is. Trust me, it's gonna be possum. <laughs> did you get it? And we started making fur. Let's use as many colors as we can. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be so boring. It seems like you were under a paper shower. That wasn't planned. Guys, you didn't see anything. Stop making a fuss. We're looking forward to your project anyway. Then I have to finish it fast. See ya. And we have some work to do. Repeat the steps, guys. Glue, overlap, mix colors. I guess it's time to use some magic. And... Awesome! Phew, you haven't finished yet. Maybe I'll be the first. Thanks for the years, Sammy. They look awesome. Susan, I won't give anything to you. You won't give me what? I, of course. <laughs> ah, not so fast. <laughs> Wait, what? I did allow to use tricks. If I only knew, I would have finished so long ago. You never asked. Show me what you got there. I ain't the panther. Sure, it looks so cool, right? <gasps> wow! 
These are our paper newcomers! The panther is made in the same way as the monkey, just its nose is shaped a little bit differently. And we won't leave our cute furry friends alone! Meet our new animals in the next part! I believe I can fly! I believe I can not see a parrot we decided to make! Sammy, remember, breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> I'm better now. <laughs> First, we're gonna make a three dimensional base for our parrot. Got it! And how many of these paper arts do we need? Till the end of the paper base, which is also the parrot's body. There we go. So, what kind of parrot is it without a colorful tail, huh? <sighs> it's easy. We'll place more strips vertically, and some of them will shape the tail. Like this. Here you go. This is cool, guys. Take some notes. The body is ready. It's time to take care of the feathers. So which color should we choose to make the feathers? Oh, Sammy. Our parrot will be the brightest bird ever. We'll start with the top of the tail and move forward. So I want to have a parrot like this, but a real one. It would be so cool. But I already have someone very talkative. <laughs> but I already have someone very talkative. <laughs> At least I'm not boring. It's time for me to do some magic. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribe I'm awesome as always. Hey, Sue, he can't be alone. Let's find friends for him. You're right as always, Sammy. Here is his green and yellow girlfriend. She's so beautiful. And this is their eccentric friend. <laughs> Check out his colorful crest and luxurious feathers on his neck. So cool. And if I were a parrot, I'd definitely be this pink and white fashionista. And now let's liven up our tropical forest. Hmm. Let's do some work here. Guys, now we'll add more colorful leaves to our paper panel. It will be the brightest forest ever. Give a thumbs up if you like it. So can I glue one of these leaves? I really want to help. Sure, Sammy. I'm really happy that you decided to volunteer. Ugh. Ugh. Looks beautiful. Guys, we'll proceed like this until we have all the gaps filled. Guys, if you like decorating as much as I do, then subscribe to our channel. We'll have more cool videos very soon. I think our birds will love this paper forest. So, I'm sure that our panther and monkey will be happy to live here too. We just need to accommodate our animals on the paper panel and it'll be ready! Wow, Sammy, they look really amazing here! And our monkey also found its home! This pink fashionista is here too! And finally, the panther! Guys, we're done! Now have a closer look!